How's it doing, brother? What's going on, brother? Not much, not much. We gotta be back home. I gotta, yeah, man. <laughs> you're, 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 well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put a a, a tween here, yeah, there you uh, go. a tween bed no, for we you. Can, we can make some homemade bunk beds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, okay, I, I, I want the tub. <laughs> I, I bring the hockey sticks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> you haven't seen the the, the Step Brothers? No. When they built the homemade uh, bunk beds, you don't remember that? No. <laughs> well, you gotta watch that movie, man. It's funny. <laughs> Okay, I don't even know if you're like being like. Um, no, yeah, it's it's actually Step Brothers. Look, I'm, uh -huh. I could be okay, it's, but I don't. I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Yeah, they, know. so they built bunk beds because they wanted to make extra space in the room. Okay, but they're they're two forty year old guys that live with the parents. We can live. We can, we can get we can get some yeah, room yeah. on the on the attic. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I like, I like the idea. It's gonna be hot yeah. as hell, but I'm nah, moving in. Yeah. All right. All right. Anytime, bro. Anytime. <laughs> All right, yeah, well, we're here, back. Um, Episode number seven, right? Seven, uh, seven, mm -hmm. in English. Um, and we'll see rolling. I don't yeah. <laughs> thank you guys for the support. Thank yeah, you, thank, thank you, you guys thank for the you support. Guys. I, know, I know some of y'all being, you know, hanging out with us, and, and we re really, really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for the for the kind comments, and, uh, you know, and, and we like to get that feedback, too. And the bat, too, you yeah. know, the, we got some bat. Yeah, we, yeah. Well, not me, you. But, uh, well, yeah. Pr yeah, pretty much pretty much the bad comments go to my Instagram, <laughs> so uh, but uh, it's, all, it's all good. It's all, everything's welcome. Um, all right, man. So today um, I wanted to talk about uh, a topic about, about grading. Mm-hmm. I was talking to a friend of mine uh, just recently. Uh, we were doing a, a live on on her YouTube channel. Shout out to to Macarena. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were doing a live, and she was like, I was I was mentioning something about you know how I graded the the Boba Fett and my reasons to to. And we've talked about that figure a lot because, but that's, that's my only loose graded. So bear with me. But I mean, but damn, that's like <laughs> that's all you need. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I was I was telling her like, oh no, yeah, I sent it grading just to to make sure that I had uh, the original, the authentic, uh, yeah. the authentic uh, original accessories, and and mm -hmm. make sure you know that I'm confident that that it, that is original, right? And she right away told me like, no, I thought they didn't do that. I thought just they just grade the figure and just. You know, like kind of like. Oh, so she don't know the rules. She didn't know. She didn't she, know or if they can authenticate the figure. She thought just just send it and they will put a grade oh, on it. Oh, okay. No, yeah, and no I told her like, no, no, no. Yeah. I've heard people sending figures grading mm -hmm. and they they actually can reject it because of a missing accessory, accessory or mm -hmm. a mismatch. Or it could be a repro. This okay. happened a lot of times as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so so do you know what is the what is the process to 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 grade a, a loose figure, for example? Well, a loose, of course, like, we, like you just mentioned. So a loose figure needs to be a hundred percent complete, and no super glue. It can't be glued together. Nothing like that. You can't be tampered with. Even if you try to, let's say, for instance, there's a little paint rub, and you try to paint it in, oh. they will reject it. They will reject it, or they would you lower the? No, the, they will reject it. And and the, the, they have their the, the disclaimer and everything in, in their in their pages. It tells you there that you can't do that. They they frown upon that because pretty much what what they're thinking like okay, so if they authenticate it and it has their name on it, their reputation on the line. Because let's just say somebody does a greater figure and and they're resellers and they want to resell it and they the the person that buys it notices that hey, there's mm. it looks like it's been and they repaint it just to kind of like trying to get a. Higher, yeah, grade. higher grade yeah because any oh, any go, 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 when, go. when it comes to grading any minute thing it bumps down the grade and so that's why when you get a really high grade man it, it's like it's 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 not very common okay. but when you do get it people are going to ask for some crazy money mm -hmm. and i'm going i'm i'm going based off of a reseller i'm not going based off of a collector what collector wouldn't want if they have a figure that they like a lot? Why wouldn't they want to get like the best grade on it? I mean, that's just the way it is. Now. Yeah, uh, that that wasn't my reason to 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 grade mm -hmm. the figure. My reason was to have it uh, uh, authenticated. But yeah, you're right. Like, I, I if I would have gotten like a eighty or an eighty five, oh, yeah. I would be you know definitely happier than, now, now, than a seventy five. Now sure. there are some stipulations that I've seen. Where and and it's only been Star Wars that I've seen this, and it's actually been uh, bootlegs. Mm -hmm. Um, the Uzes, the Star Wars. Have you heard of the Uze from Germany? Okay, so those they have this this uh, blue stormtrooper. That gun 
it's so so hard to find that af8 still will grade it without its accessory there's just so, uh, so like little figures that is it bootleg or is it original no it's not oh, original. original but even okay 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 so but there's exceptions to the there's to some the exceptions that i only seen here and there it's not i mean and it's only been star wars that i've seen and it's really just been that figure because like i said that accessory is what figure really, what figure is it again it's a uze so it's it's a it's a blue blue stormtrooper blue stormtrooper yeah and, and it's then a, it comes with a gun it comes with a gun but it's super rare yeah. and then also also seen vlicks from from the droids the one that was only made in brazil mm -hmm. that's another one okay. that i've seen graded without the accessory so there, there's just a minimal uh, of figures out there that they will grade and they'll give you the exception but other than that everything needs to be 100 okay. percent. it can be tampered with And yeah, people don't understand what grading is. Pretty much, it's to encapsulate something that's original, and you call it's authenticated, because mm -hmm. that's more so why you did it too. Yeah, yeah. To authenticate, you didn't do it for the money. You didn't do it not for the display. No, I mean well, for this one particular. Uh, uh, yeah, the display. Yeah, the is, display. Is, it's a beautiful. Plus. It's a beautiful thing. Because me personally, I love loose grading, and I think you know that, and mm -hmm. people know that too. Yeah, I don't mind mocks either because I have some mocks as well, but I just love how the way you know they they display it with the acrylics and you know it's just it's just something that fascinates me how the way they they make something come out even though i don't mind a loose figure being out of his case and you can actually mm -hmm. touch it but for some reason i don't know i guess the acrylic of it and you know everything about it it just i and I, i really like it there's a few things that the that we disagree on mm -hmm. i feel like we're like very similar on, on on not only how collect but what to collect as well mm -hmm. And there's very few things that we disagree, and I feel like that's one of them. Yeah. You prefer loose graded, mm -hmm. and you even open mocks <laughs> to grade them loose. Mm -hmm. And I particularly don't. I don't think I feel like I don't. I, I don't. I can appreciate it, but I, I wouldn't mm -hmm. put too many figures loose graded on my collection. Uh. Everything, everything in my collection has to have a purpose, and okay. the main purpose is to better the display. Mm -hmm. Everybody's different. Yeah, everybody has a, a a piece in mind because of a different reason. Mm -hmm. For me, it has to better the display. Now, even though the display is really good with with the loose graded, to me, I feel like the acrylic when you when you get a for example a. a, a a ninja turtle mm -hmm. that has a lot of weapons mm -hmm. every like the acrylic start start starts to getting like expanding. super yeah. big that to grade my six loose undercovers will come up to 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 a tower of of, of acrylic, of acrylics, yeah. right so uh, to me that started losing for my taste mm -hmm. started losing the 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 display Or the displayability. I don't know. I don't know how do you want to want to say, want to say it. But for the Boba Fett in the specific, the removable rocket. There's only one way to display it in my in my understanding, because if you put it on the figure by itself, you have to put the rocket in inside, inside, and then it loses the purpose of of what it is. What it is exactly, mm -hmm. or why why does it make it special? Mm -hmm. Now the way that they 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 the the work that Cas did, uh, I think it's amazing. Now, also props to to Cas and and and, and AFA mm -hmm. on on how they're displaying the loose figures. I yeah. feel like now, before Cas will just put like you know like like a like a literally a, a tape or like well, a well, that, scotch that, tape. That was that was AFA. AFA started AFA? that. A, AFA did that. What did I say? Uh, Cass. Oh, CA. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So AFA started, they put the tape and then Cass came along and they started doing that laser inscribing for the actual weapon itself. Mm -hmm. So AFA seen that and, and they noticed that, hey, you know, this people caught on to that. People really liked it. Yeah, people, yeah. people, you know, they went, they went to that. So AFA started that. They started doing it as well. So now you got both, both uh, grading companies doing it. At the same, you know, they they actually actually grade and yeah, like the way they display it like this, that's beautiful because I do have some old AFA um uh, loose figures and it has the tape on it. It right just has yeah. like a little compartment and they just put yeah, tape. Just put a yeah, tape, uh -huh. so um, even though I'm not too much fun of of the loose graded, I like this figure graded. 
Um, but I'm I, I don't have a problem with with the carded with the mocks mm -hmm. graded. Um, if you're looking of you know the preservation mm -hmm. of the figure, because sometimes I feel like at the end of the day, every collector, I think we all have that part in us that not only enjoy the figure to, our, to ourselves, but also to kind of like preserve that figure mm -hmm. probably in the best condition or for future generations or there has to be some in, in, in some some of that in in every collector yeah so if i'm gonna try to preserve it i'll try to you know preserve it in their card now do you have a preference in in, in, in either like whether you want loose or or, or carded or so or what I, is what is your i mean so like i said i, I know your collection consists of of mocks you know, your high-end pieces, you like mocks, but then you like loose mm -hmm. because of the way you display them. So I don't have mocks and loose. I I, I have loose and, and uh, mainly, mainly uh, loose graded. Okay. I do have some mocks and I wouldn't, I wouldn't break them open if, you know, mainly, honestly, my, the mocks that I have, I think the majority of them are, are graded. Okay. So I'm not going to break an acrylic. So you, you, know. you mm -hmm. so you... Then what I'm saying is like you, 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 your end game will be either loose or carded. Have everything graded. Um, so I, the high end, yes. The only reason, like I said, the only reason why I haven't sent other stuff, you know, uh, my other figures off the high end, like sumos and and wing warriors and things like that, because of the time mm -hmm. that is going to consist of getting it them back. It takes, takes oh, yeah, a I year, mean, yeah, ten and, months, and I can't tell you that because that's happened to me. Mm -hmm. It actually took exactly one year to get four figures back. Don't you think they're getting better at it? I think yeah. Cass was offering two months. Like yeah, but that's for Mox. For Mox. That's, that's not right. for loose. Okay. So so they gotten better on Mox, but when it comes, it to, comes to loose. When it comes to loose oh, and, and then to top it off, when you get loose graded, it is more expensive to do get loose graded than it is to get Mox. I, I figure they have like, you know, pre cut acrylics for the Mox. I'm pretty sure that's why it's and, probably and, cheaper but, or but, faster. Yeah, but, but at the same time is they have the same. I'm pretty sure they have the same thing because a generic cut for the same loose figure, a, a Chef Boyardee shredder, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a Boba Fett. Do they take requests? What, what on how to display or? Because I've seen okay. the Chef Boyardee loose, loose graded, like complete, and then I've seen the Chef Boyardee loose, mm -hmm. but with this baggy, the baggy with yeah. the, the mail, and then the same, but with the mm -hmm. with the with the letter of, like. If not the the mailer the the, the yeah the, yellow the, the, yeah the, yeah and then I've seen the same but so I've seen the the ship or D in so at least five different displays so I, th I I this is what I think I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speak for CES I'm not but I think they have a generic even though it's they have different different ways of displaying it mm -hmm. they still have a generic way to display it if it's in a baggie. If it, if it's if they want the weapons on this side, they yeah. you know so and they've done so many. It's just pretty much when you go in their database, you already have pictures of how the way you know. Now, if you want something different, then that's when they do a third tier, and that yeah, that's gonna even take even long. that's gonna take longer. Okay. So, uh, me personally, I think it shouldn't take as much, but I think they're just so swamped because I'm telling you, I don't know if you notice this, but a lot of people are getting a lot of loose graded figures. They're, they're, yeah. they're, that that's it's a hot item and it, i'm not i'm not following the credit it's just something that i always like yeah. doing e even before i remember the first the first figures i sent it was the chef party i got that back like in i think believe it was like four months so I, and i think i think a lot of a lot of people moved from afa to cas because of the loose grading be because of the loose grading and because of the time the at, at that time afa yes. was taking like longer mm -hmm. that's my understanding yes and then now it's backwards. Like now, I feel like a lot of people went to CAS. And so, and so, why do you, at the moment no, that we're filming yeah. this 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 video, right? And, so, and so, and so, why do you think now CAS is is doing those those promotions that they'll, they'll take two months to or three months to to do your mocks now? Because I, I guess they know that AFA is starting to get back. AFA off. started to cut off because they they, mm -hmm. they I feel like I feel like they lost a lot of a lot of clientele to to mm -hmm. CAS. So AFA start catching up, mm -hmm. delivering faster, and I think. CAS wanted and, to, and, to and so when it comes to collecting, mm -hmm. what what this is what I've heard and I've heard this plenty of times. 
old school guys that are a little bit more like on the G.I. Joe side. On you know what we talked about. I don't know if you Star remember. Wars. Yeah. They don't. They don't want nothing to do with CAS. Mm-hmm. They prefer AFA because they've they, been, of course, AFA has been out longer. You know, they've been the source. They've been the grading company that's been doing it for a while. For, for a while. Mm-hmm. And so CAS comes along and they're not too fond of them uh-huh. just yet. So they have, I've I've heard this, that they feel, you know, it, it it's not going to lose value, but you, let's just say you're trying to resell a figure mm-hmm. and it's you have a C you have the same figure same grade same everything but one's graded AFA and one's graded CAS right mm-hmm. people will prefer I, AFA because they say it has being being because I, what I'm hearing is AFA is a little harder when it comes to grading mm-hmm. um so whatever grade they give you that's a legitimate grade CAS standard, yeah. yeah, CAS is a little bit more lenient, I guess, and so mm-hmm. they feel like that's not the actual grade. Yes, yes, but I, I, I think you're. I think that's what most people think. And I, I might include myself in that, but I don't think that they're that far. I think people mm-hmm. exaggerate that rumor. But see, but, but I mean, I know, I know. Yes, cast can be a little more, more, more like, like I don't, I don't know what was the word like, like more like, uh, 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 like I said, a little bit more lenient. So yeah, yeah, okay, that. So and but that's what I'm telling you. Like we both, because I'm, I'm with you, but you cannot tell that to somebody that that's only knows that's about it because they, they they don't want to hear it. I'm telling you, and I literally I've spoken to people about it, and they don't want it. They don't want to. They don't want to hear it. They're like, no, no, we don't, we don't want ACA. Oh, only if it was AFA. Man, it's not a and and they'll actually they won't buy the figure because it's CAS graded. Okay, well I mean if you have a big problem with that, why don't you just take it out and resend yeah, it? Resend it. it. Yeah, yeah. If that's a big problem to you, no, because if you have if you're selling it as a graded even CAS, CAS it's it's increasing the price. Yeah, yeah anyway, of so, course. So what do you think about that? Like a lot of people just you know because there's there's the resellers mm-hmm. and then there's the graders to resell. Yeah, so. There's people basically investing their money to grade figures mm-hmm. and resell them. So a lot of people complain about that because, oh, that's, you know, just increasing the value of the figures, it's killing the market. It just, you know, mm-hmm. overpricing the figures to, 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 or just to make it like grading, make it like, is it really worth it that the price that they, they go up for? Uh, what do you think like about uh, when the it, selling when it comes to re- i mean even collectors i've seen collectors eventually those collectors we talked about it before as well sometimes they just they're done collecting and they're they had the figure they enjoyed it it's time to sell and they're not going to sell the the a graded figure that and especially if it got a really good grade they're not going to sell it for what they bought it for or just try to make another 20 bucks on top to so when it comes to grading a fi- a, a figure, mm. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna. Okay, so let, let's let's put it this way: to preserve a figure that's thirty, forty years old, and then to get a good grade on it, it, it you know it goes along. So I do believe, and it's gonna it's gonna maybe double, mm. maybe double in profit because it's preserved. Like for instance. Well, let's talk about this Boba Fett. What if this Boba Fett was not real and they, and they gave it back to you? No. So so now, it, let's say you try to sell it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 I, I understand. And, and so and yeah, and so, and so that's what that's what that's kind of what I'm trying to tell you is mm-hmm. when you preserve something, the great the the person that's buying it doesn't have to think. He does. He's not going to overthink. Is it real? Is it real? Is it, it in good condition? W- yeah. Was it recorded? You know what? Was you know did did somebody tamper with the bubble? I mean, there's there's been there's been fan club flyers, yeah, uh, 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 foot soldiers where they where they stick the fan and try to sell it as as a real fan club flyer, and that's not you know when we yeah, know that you risk it to to get like scammed exactly. Okay, but is is it really worth it the the the, the jump or how do you come up with a price? Like who came up with a price to 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 you know. To me, I feel like that's a very iffy situation. It it is because, because how much does it jump? First of all, how much? Why? 
what is the graph or the the the, the to lose from loose to corded to corded to graded mm -hmm. and then once it's graded what is the difference between a 75 an 80 an 80 plus oh, man, an 85 yeah, an 85 plus a 90 like who who comes up with those numbers like I think we talked about this before, but we come up with those numbers. The market, we're, we're the we're the market. We're the ones that, and and that. So you, you mentioned this before, and and you you made a really good point about it. So let's say, me, me, you remember the one that RAF was on eBay, and we're like, mm -hmm. you know, there's no way. Everybody thought there's no way it went for this much. Mm -hmm. Nobody believed the black belt RAF. Yeah. Nobody believed it, right? And so you may like watch, watch what I tell you. I know they're still scarce. They don't come out as often, but they're going to come out more often seeing how much you how went much for. How much you went for. Um, and so that's what makes it's, it's almost. Remember we talked yeah, about yeah, this. That's, so that's the, the collectors making yeah, the market. Yeah. No. And, and so, but, and same thing with grading. It's the same thing with grading. So if you have a rare figure or you have a high end figure, or it could be somebody's grill, mm -hmm. it could be all kinds of reasons why. And then it has a, a good grade because I, I consider good grade being from 70. 70, 70 to me being that it's a hard, hard figure to get. Yeah. This is a perfect example right here. I I wouldn't mind this at all. Mm -hmm. At all, at all. Yeah. But 75 and up, I'm okay with that. But once you once you hit the 85, 85 plus, people go, I've I've seen this. People go crazy. It's and it's it's not it's not saying, hey, that figure's worth this much. They they and most of the times when I've seen it sells, they they're auctioning it from on whatnot, on mm. eBay. You know, there, it's it's being auctioned off, so it's not somebody just putting the price on it. It's it's. I think people go based off that one sale, mm -hmm. and because they think oh, because it's so, they think their thing's gonna sell like. But that. you see that that's 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 my where my problem is at. Like a lot of people think that oh, I think that because of that one sold this, mm -hmm. I think this should sold at this price. So when you compare it to graded comic books. Mm -hmm. Or graded uh, sports cards, or graded Pokemon cards. Mm -hmm. You see them w way more organized oh. than us, me including us. You know, in the in the action figure mm -hmm. uh, branch of collecting. In, in which way you mean organized? Organized, like if you if you go to a Pokemon convention and then you 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 look up at, at a card, mm -hmm. there's a website. Oh, you mean like it's gonna it, tell you how much it costs? Okay. How much it cost? Lose? How much it cost graded? How much it cost graded? And each grade, mm -hmm. and it all it, that that is almost like a like like a like a market. What's it called? Like like the 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 the, mar the market? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. The but the the the, the stock market like they mm -hmm. have like oh it went up it went down and the seller you know mm -hmm. most of them or at least what i've seen on, on on some videos if you tell the seller oh hey look this is how much it goes all right they will adjust the price they seem more organized in that aspect i'm pretty sure it's similar to 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 the sports card mm -hmm. you know uh comic books as well like you know there's very very i don't know they seem more organized on prices on action figures, it's all over the place. Like you I, see, I think I think people use. I mean, the best. And I think you, you know, sometimes the, seeing the same figure from the same company for CAS or from AFA, and they will sell higher at a seventy-five and eighty, and then you somebody put it on op, an auction for a, an eighty-five, and it sells for less. Yes. And like, I feel like it's all over the place. My mm -hmm. point of view, my perspective, right? So yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. The, Don't I mean, you feel like that? I'm not saying that you give me an answer on why or no, no. I, so, so, so eBay, e eBay. Of course, I think we, e as a collector, I think everybody knows that eBay is kind of our go-to mm -hmm. to sold items. You know, you always look it up. But, but I get what you're saying. But that's I, what I'm saying. I feel like we're still too young. No, no. But yeah, I, but I get what you're saying. Is is okay? Let's say, for instance, one month ago, uh, a figure sold for twenty five hundred bucks. Let's just say that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then. Three weeks later, the same figure, same grade, same whatever, them them near typical, sold for fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. So what happened there, you know? And 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 I get that, I I get that. But what I'm saying, that's why I'm saying the market we make. That's why I told you we we make it now. I think in Pokemon and comic books, same thing. We make the market, but I I believe people are a little bit more 
because it's a lot more money. If, if you notice, Pokemon, mm. no, the uh, I I think the more money it costs, people are gonna be a little bit more organized because these things are worth money. They're I'm not gonna say they're not, but but you compare theirs. These two, uh, uh, a Pokemon, like a first edition charger. Yeah. Or, or, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. So mm. they're going to want to make sure they're spending their money. Right. And and everything's legit. And everything's well, fair. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They're organized. That's yeah. what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, like, no. I feel like we're still young on, uh, on the grading process. Or I think we're still on an early stages of the grading process or the grading database. I don't know. Because even, even though you try to look some figures, uh, up and try to look for them graded and then sometimes mm -hmm. the CAS database doesn't have the figure not even them have it like, yeah. and then you try to look it up on, on, on eBay for sales and some of those figures sold on private collector by, from collector to collector mm -hmm. so there's not a like a true base yeah. most of them are up there but no 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 you, you doesn't so, reflect the truth so, always no, and, all the time and, and i agree with that there's not a true value but pokemon is the same way pokemon does this it fluctuates mm -hmm. uh basketball i think anything anything collector wise always fluctuates yes i understand and, that. And, so, and so i think this is what happens with figures as well it fluctuates but it fluctuates a little bit more rapidly mm-hmm and that's that's and that's what I see. Pokemon could do this for two three months and then go down, and then stay like that for a week, two weeks, maybe a month, and then go back. Certain up. figures, certain cards. So certain so money. when it comes when it comes to action figures, it does it a lot quicker, and that's the reason why you're seeing okay from one week to the next or from one month inconsistency. To the next. Yes, and so that's what I'm saying. It's not it's not saying that we're younger. I guess when it comes to when it comes to to valuing the figure. But it just it just does this. It fluctuates, hmm. but it's because, as I mentioned, every every anything that's collectible is gonna do that. It's mm -hmm. it's gonna have it's gonna have his his, his up uh, you know his high point and then mm -hmm. it's gonna have his low point. You know it it just gets to the point where, what do you want to deal with? If if okay, let me ask you this: if if you were to have a a, a bow fit, a, a, a remo removable rocket, and it was loose, but you weren't sure about it. You were not 100% sure about it. Mm -hmm. Just but, like I was with this? Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I, I wasn't. I yeah, know yeah I, know, I know. I know what you mean. But, but yeah, okay. But at that point in time, and then you had a graded one that you know was... So you will feel more comfortable, of course, choosing the one that's graded because you wouldn't have any kind of thought, you know, process being like, man, is this... No, no, no. I think my problem is, or not my problem, my question, basically, yeah. because I, I, don't, I know, you know, gradable... All graded things cost more, mm -hmm. but my problem is, or again, sorry, not my problem, <laughs> my question, my issue. It's Tell me your problem. Who, who, <laughs> <laughs> like, what is the percentage they put up? Because sometimes a figure can just go up by, uh, and I'm not gonna say hundreds, but percentage. It can go up at ten percent, fifty percent. And sometimes it goes all like a hundred percent, like it just doubles <laughs> up the price. Like, mm -hmm. what, like, what makes that, uh, like, jump that high? So, we've seen this happen. I know you've seen this as well. If, you know, and I'm pretty sure a lot of a lot of people viewing this go on eBay. I think everybody's them near mm -hmm. been on eBay, okay. And and I've gotten situations like that come to the store where the guy is telling me, "Hey, look, man, uh, look, look, this." I want I want three hundred for this, and I'm looking at the I'm looking for what it's sold for. And like, where'd you get three hundred from? He goes, oh, well, look, he's not looking at the sold item. He's going, he's looking at at asking price, asking price. Mm -hmm. And I told him, look, buddy, you could ask for whatever you want. Yeah, it, you it could be, it could it. it could be worth fifty bucks, but you could ask nine hundred dollars if you want. Yeah, you might have somebody that may buy it, which more likely it won't it won't happen. But what I'm getting at is. You know, when it comes to the sales, mm -hmm. that's the only way I I believe that's the best way to go by. So when it when what you're asking is how will we know okay, this raft right here, how will we know loose loose a card it, let's say card it, twenty five hundred bucks. Let's just put a number because that's mm -hmm. kind of what what, mm -hmm. what it is. If you get it graded and made it eighty plus, we're thinking 
maybe three and a half, four grand now. So, yes. So, we're, but we're thinking because yeah, there's not a lot of sales exactly to compare it to. So, and, and that's and that's what I'm getting at. So we're thinking, mm -hmm. we're thinking. Now, what what messes up the the market for us if we are gonna try that you have other guys that are gonna want to sell it for ten grand. Mm. Because there's not so many out there. Mm. Why do they put that number? Because of that reason. Yeah, yeah. And so it, it is a gray area what you're asking. Mm -hmm. Because you know, it's something I can't even answer because I can't I can't answer for the other person that might put it up for ten thousand. Yeah, it, it, it just it's just mm -hmm. a, a very a very, you know that, that I don't know. I like graded uh figures, especially mock. Or Minton card, but uh, I feel like it's it's, and then there's a lot of people that take advantage of that and then just like try to look for the best carded figure or whatever and then just grade it grade, and yeah. sell it up for for more. Uh, a lot of people I've heard comments, I've read comments that a lot of people hate grading companies like just in general. Mm -hmm. Like you and I think, oh, who wouldn't want a graded figure? Well, there's people that hate. And I've read it this only. I've never actually met one, but mm -hmm. but I've read this uh, very often where they say, no, 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 I hate grading because they only increase the value of a figure that should be meant to be open or should be meant to play just, with or, or play with or just I wanted to card it, but but now it's just out of my you know it's just making more exclusive to mm -hmm. high end collectors, people with with more. Uh, 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 budget. Mm -hmm. So there's people that don't like grading companies because they feel like they're just increasing the value of the mm -hmm. collectible. Everybody's going to have their own opinion. And that's what I, exactly what I said last time. There's mm -hmm. no wrong way to collect and that's how the person feels or then people feel. That's, hey, by all means, that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I, I understand that. So I've got, I've, I've heard that before as well. And then, and then, at the same time, I see I see those same people buying acrylic cases, and putting their figures in acrylic cases. Well, well so I think that's completely different because no, no that no. doesn't increase the it, no, no no it doesn't increase. But we're not talking about increasing. We're also talking about no. the playability. Because no, no no no. Well, that was one of the reasons. But yeah. but, but most people that, that say they hate it, they usually mention the price mm -hmm. because they don't have the budget because they 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 can barely afford whatever. So like, do you think? So do you think they say that because of that reason? Because they, they, they're saying. Well then, while they just usually, go, usually, bad comments, they come from a place of uh, of uh, I don't know. I, I I've been getting a lot of a lot of <laughs> a lot of hate lately. If you follow me on Instagram, I use, I sometimes you know screenshots. Yeah, or and, and, and that's one but thing. But I feel like it comes from a place of just yeah, like just envy or or or. And, and and that's what I was gonna tell you. So so I always I always say this, you know, if you don't have haters, you know, then you ain't doing something right. So you're always gonna have somebody come after you because they see what you have, and I think if they don't have it, you know, and they want it, they're gonna make their comments, you know. And you know, I I don't see what's the purpose of taking time out of their day to make a bad <laughs> comment. I just don't. I I just don't see it. No, now, now they want to joke around. Yeah, and not mean it. You know, just. Make a joke here, but but some people, I, and you you showed me some of those comments like wow, and they actually write you a whole pair, a whole yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like geez, he had all this time to write that, to write that, yeah, and, and and so, you know, I I think that's just what it is. Is sometimes they don't have the budget for, or if they could, they would, and I'm and we're not we're not here to say oh well, poor, they're poor, that's why we're no, not saying no. nothing like that. We're no, just, but if I if I see something that I don't like, yeah, yeah, I just keep scrolling like yeah, well, well, yeah. Anyways. Guys, what I what I could found about that on the on, on on internet is that the only way to put like regulation in this market that is really subjective is to have like these grades because it's really subjective. For some people a figure could be ten thousand and for other people could be a hundred. Mm -hmm. So this came to like bring a regulation. The problem is is that these companies are private mm -hmm. and they have their own way or, or standards to grade these figures. And they, what I could find is that they have artists, critics, uh, auction house evaluators, and other like jobs that aesthetics and preservation are critical. Mm -hmm. And what what they do, they they can have the CAS or FAA. They could have like different or unique perspectives, but 
is really subjected, subjected at the end of the, up to them. At the end of the day, at it's the end up, it's to them. up to them. And, and yeah, that's something that, that is worth a mention. What is say yes? Thank you, say yes. Uh, first, first participant in the yes. Yeah, we have our, we have our, our, our Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> say yes. Um, no, yeah. What, what, what it was still, what, what I think what, and that's important to mention because a lot of people think it's just one guy. It's like, oh yeah, how come you let? That's that's another comment that I've, that I've read a lot. How come you let one guy decide? what value or what uh, mm -hmm. a great house like no 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 it's not just one guy they they're experts they, they've been working on auction houses yep, they've yep. been like uh, uh, uh they've been around for a while and it's not just one guy it doesn't go through just one guy right mm -hmm. i believe it's no you, no you, you're absolutely right yeah he goes yeah even like all type of people like judging i don't know paint uh yeah so so when it comes i mean I never been inside those companies to actually see what they're doing, but yeah, these guys are experts. I mean, that's that's what they do for a living, and I guarantee you, these guys all have a massive collection. Each guy individually, I'm pretty sure, has a massive collection. I know some guys from CAS, they have a massive Star Wars collection. There's just one guy, man. I, I, I'm just in awe when I see his collection. Mm -hmm. So these guys know what they're looking for. They know what's fake, what's not, and so that's my reasoning of why. The figure is going to cost more than what it would be raw instead of being graded. Mm. Now, that's the gray area that we're talking about is how do we know how much more is it, is it worth? Yeah, that's going to come to to auctions and to, yeah. to, to, to time to tell. But yeah, what, what I was saying, you know, it's 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 super important to to kind of like mention. It's, like, it's not that I don't like grading, you know, but but it's important because when it comes to, to the grading, like imagine... A lot of people say, oh, it's just one guy just giving you a grade to your figure, you know, mm -hmm. that they don't even, sometimes they say, oh, they don't even collect. Like, no, man, you think CAS or AFA is going to put random people grading their figures? Their name is on it. Exactly. What if I try to, 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 to make a video and I resell a figure mm -hmm. just to test them and see if they will do it? And if you get to expose them like that. Oh, it's, yeah. All the figures that they've graded, imagine how many hundreds of thousands of figures they've and, graded. And money, yeah, it's, that's all. Awesome. For one fake, if, if I do a video and I try to reseal it mm -hmm. and send it and I make the whole video and then, oh, and then, oh, they degraded and I came out. So if you get to cheat them, all their figures are going to be yeah. in doubt. So I don't think they're gonna risk it to put just one random and, guy and, and, to and that's do it. And that's exactly what I was talking about when when we talked about preserving and grading. What was the purpose? And that's what I said. CS and AFA are not gonna put their necks out and grade something, or or you, they're not gonna hey, well with this card we sell, let's just still grade it. Hmm. They're gonna kick it back, just like we talked about lose grade. If it's if if they super glue it, they'll, they'll fight things out. They're, mm -hmm. That's why there's they, a lot of people. Yeah, there's a few guys. Mm -hmm. It goes through a process. Mm -hmm. I've heard. I'm not sure. I wish. It'd I be, wish one it, one time we got we get a, a guest access, from yeah. CAS or, or, or at least FA. give us access inside the. Uh, yeah, yeah, or just give us you know a, a phone <laughs> call or whatever, just to, to let us know a little bit more about, about behind the scenes because yeah, it has to go through more than one person to mm -hmm. to, to check it because if I fix one figure. And maybe I try to be, you know, sneaky and then just do it, use it for my own collection. But I'm trying, or maybe I'm trying to to make content, do mm -hmm. a video, high repair the figure, and then send it graded. Yeah. And then if they don't catch it, yeah, that's, their whole reputation. Their that, whole, that's an exposure there. So that, and so and so yeah, that, that's that's what we're talking about. You know, when it comes to grading, they they take their job. I mean, who? If you're gonna do a job, you can do it right. They're gonna you have to take your job. So no matter what type of job it is mm -hmm. you want to take your job seriously so these guys like i said they're not, they're they're not going to stick their necks out and and do something like that not saying not i'm not gonna think about it I, i'm i'm not gonna say that maybe it might be a possibility that maybe a figure here and there may had may had you know got away from them and possibly you know mm -hmm. everybody makes mistakes it happens but i'm pretty sure there's a a, a long process you know if that was the case then why are we receiving figures so uh, now, not in, you know, we, we we set a figure out and we want it back the next week, but we get it, you know, you get it like it in it four takes, or five months because it takes time. It takes time, and not only to yeah. display it, but to 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 review it and make to sure review, yeah. exactly. How do you think they 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 come up to to authenticate or grade prototypes or figures that was 
were never released. Man, that 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 to me, honestly. I, I let honestly, me ask, let me ask, hold on. Let me let me, ask, let me let me call my friend in, at, at CAS. Let me, <laughs> let me let me let me let me ask you the same question. How do you think they are? Because I can't I can't even answer. I that. can't. That, that that's that's something because some Look, of some of those uh, I've heard. I've heard, but again, mm-hmm. hopefully one day we get we get yeah. down here one of those guys or a Lisa call or a video call. If we can get one of the you know CAS or AFA or anybody on the grading company, mm-hmm. will be great to explain all of this because the I've heard that 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 when it comes to prototypes, they not only just take it and authenticate it. I've heard that they try to ask the guy who's sending it mm-hmm. to like, where do you get it? Yeah. What is the pass of this figure? How do you got it? How do you get it? Where do you get it? Who sold it to you? Who did? Where did this come from? Like, the this, did, it, did it belong to mm-hmm. uh, to a comp a, a guy that worked there or a CEO or something like that? Like, they're trying to not only just go by the figure but also by the story and see if it checks out. All, all, so, on. so that's what I, th- I and I think I think you're. I mean, I don't even think you have to. Somebody, you know, I think it's just common sense. I'm pretty sure when it comes to figure like a prototype or something, I'm pretty sure they do their due diligence when it comes to making sure that it's authentic and they have to do their research. Yeah. They have to make sure they have to make phone calls, but I'm pretty sure a lot of these guys have, you know, they, they've been in the game long enough that they have, they know these, they know what number to call. Yeah. They know how, where to search. How, how old yeah, the resin not, is. Yeah. The resin or resin or yeah, the, resin. Yeah. The, the resin. resin or the, the clay paint, or the clay, the clay or yeah. the paint paint if it is if it is really like that all mm-hmm. i'm pretty sure they have their ways to check yeah it everybody it's, it's almost like when people authenticate signatures people you know they go for those the, like babe ruth or those kind of say they look at what kind of ballpoint pin if what if they look at all that mm-hmm. i mean it, these guys are experts so that's what I'm, that's what you know that's what they get paid for yeah that, that's that's what i feel like it's a yeah. little more more uh risky you know like if you get a, like a really really good uh, guy uh uh at molding and then mm-hmm. they come up with with the figure mm-hmm. that could have been or whatever and they're like oh it, it, this is a, a test shot or this is a a, a, a prototype. prototype yeah how, how do you know like well, what do you I, I i really think like i said like we mentioned they they do their research as best as possible i mean they they i'm pretty sure they make phone calls they don't just be, oh well, it's a prototype okay well let's just grade it yeah i, I I'm, I'm pretty sure they they go back and you know, uh, that guy, Chris, he, he used to work. I think he still, I don't know if he does or did, or he used to for sure, but it worked for playmates and you know, that those, that guy, you know, he has all kinds. So th- there's all kinds of backstories. Mm. Fawcett. We, yeah. Fawcett. Mm-hmm. So we, we know, we know that there's a lot of people out there that still have like old things from factories, from, you know, factories that, you know, from Lee Letty. Mm. from from you know playmates Kenner, playmates yeah. Yeah, yeah and and so that's that's where the beauty of it comes when you know you 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 uncover something like that and when you start making phone calls you start so i'm pretty sure these guys have those those, those you know those those contacts to to ask the question before they grade something because they wouldn't i'm telling you these guys are not going to grade anything that they're not sure about i mean that yeah, that's... They, and what we talked about because why their name is on the line you know we they don't want to be known as as, as the if company, they, yeah, yeah. If they if they cut up on one yeah. mistake and they and, don't and if it happens put in... mo- and if it happens multiple times, I seen this happen again. You know, with the grading company, I'm not gonna say the name, but this one guy told me that this grading company screwed him over really bad, and then from there he told his buddy, and then his buddy said, "Oh yeah, they screwed me too." And then from that thing, the buddy, said, and then all of a sudden, but how did they screw them all? Like the well the, on the re- on the on the grade. Well, on the, um... well, one was you know I don't know how the hell this happened. So this guy uh, decides to get his, I think he got two sumos graded. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the grading company sends him back empty acrylics with no, with no, with no, uh, with no figure in with it. No figures in it. <laughs> I don't know. They that. forgot to put the, what? I've never had that one before. Yeah. And you know the guy. Oh my God. You know the guy. So, and he showed me pictures of the acrylic. Just it. And it's and just acrylic. Why did they tell him? It, 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 at that time, when you know what, I need to follow up because at that time there was still you have to come with a cheese make complete like yeah. <laughs> um, no, because I say because I haven't followed up. Okay, okay, okay. But but at that time I was like, and he showed me the pictures. I couldn't believe it. And, and did they fix it? Did they did they? I, like I said, I haven't followed. I haven't asked. Hey, like wow. So it, it, you know, and and 
I mean, I'm pretty sure they're like any of those companies, like they're like super swamped. I'm pretty sure, like, but for something like but, that but, happened, like, dude. But how do you? Yes, I, I, I'm telling you, I it's s- almost impossible to. I, 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 I mean, I'm not lying. How dude, are you I, gonna put an empty acrylic in a bag, seal it? Yeah. Somebody has to seal it. I don't know. And, and then of course, that, that's, that's, and then of course, you had a, an, another guy that we both know as well. Um, sent out a, a a loose, complete scratch with file card, mm-hmm. and uh, they decided to call him and tell him, "Hey, we lost your file card." You know, collection card. Yo, wow. Yeah, and, oh, wow. Oh, the file card. The, the, yeah, the 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 the, yeah, the file card first. Scratch. And I mean, we're not. You know, at the end of the day, it's a scratch file. It's not like he could just, oh, let me just get a, get another file card for you. So, you know, at the end of the day, he got it loose. Now this is becoming a scary conversation. I've, I I mean, I, I've never heard that. Yeah, yeah. It, I, like I said, I've heard things. People, That's what I say. You make mistakes. But when that starts happening, guess what? People are going to start fraying away. And that's why I was telling you. So what I'm, what I'm getting at is people, people tend to, you know, they choose this company or they choose that company. It doesn't matter. I mean, who you go with. Yeah. They're going to make mistakes. I've, I've seen it. I've, you know, I've seen stuff like that happen before. Mm. And so they, you know what? Forget this company, and and they can the, and they don't even have to be a QA QC thing. It could be oh, well, these guys screwed me over because they told me it was gonna be ready in this month and it's two months later, and you know they just weren't. I'm, I'm never, pretty sure that happened. Very I'm often never gonna deal time, with them yeah. again. And so and so that happens, you know, and it's it's gonna happen. I mean, it's just how it's many just, other companies um, are out there besides AFA and CAS. Um, I mean the one that uh, what the UG the U, U, G, what is it UKG uh, United well Kingdom? UK. Yeah, UK grading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's that's the. I mean, I have one from the UK, and I do too. That's the only. I only have one, and of course, it's it's a it's a Sam Duncan uh, Don. So, I don't. Um, mm. those are only three well known uh, grading companies that I know. Of. I know there's another one in Canada, and I just barely heard about it. But I don't. Right here in the U.S., it's only those two. As yeah. far as action figures. As far as action figures, that only those only ones I know. Okay. I, I haven't seen no. There might be some out there, some other, but there might be just like a small mom and pops. But I don't like I said, they're not even. I haven't even seen it. The only thing I've seen is, uh, like you said, those three grading companies that we talked about, and that was it. Mm. That that's all yeah, I've seen. I have a UK grading hotspot, I believe. Uh, okay. Yeah, I feel like like, um, depending also on the year of the figure. <sighs> There's so many variables because I've heard that nowadays I've heard the famous <laughs> I've heard I've heard I, I do not work at the, any of these companies, but I've heard that that they put a kind of like one of these companies, they put a limit. Now, from now on, any Star Wars figures won't get anything higher than 70 or 75 or, eight or something like that, because okay. That's going to be their their neck like from now on. That's going to be the max. So if you see an eighty or something like that, it's an all figure. It was graded years and years ago. Okay, explain that one more time. So, so. if you like, I've heard that if you take this carded uh, Star Wars figure, mm-hmm. the max that it's going to be able to reach, I believe, is seventy five. Okay. I never heard of that. That's weird. Why is that? What, so what if it's a... It's a I'm doubting pres- my sources now, but... but yeah, but is, what if the card is pristine well, and the bubble is good? I feel like, the, like depending on how many years if the card has been, you know, you know, if it is a Star Wars, we're talking about what, like almost 40 years or... Um, 77, yes. So, yeah, little, yeah, little yeah closer 40. to the 40 years. So I think depending if, if he's been on like an... It hasn't been on an acrylic or it was like it's been aged for more than 30 years. The mm-hmm. higher, the highest that it can get now as far as grading, it's 75 or, or, or something like that. I've heard I, I've heard that before mm-hmm. where certain figures, certain corded figures cannot reach higher than hmm. 80 or something like that because they're too old. So you can you can find a, a, a CAS 90 on an Ninja Turtle. Because at the end of the day, it's what, like 30 days, 30 years? 30, about like 30 years. Uh, 30 94, some, yeah. we're, we're close to 30, 30 years. Uh, but not on a, on a Star Wars, mm-hmm. you know, uh, the first first line of Star Wars, like the, 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 the first 12, 12, 
No, on the Star Wars, yeah. First of all, or or figures like that, like it's going to go to to hmm. to lower the 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 grading. That's what I. That's uh, but I, I mean, well, that that kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Because if you're gonna if you're gonna send in something to get graded, mm-hmm. and you're and you're hoping this card this card could be at the end of the day, don't trust my sources. <laughs> That's what I've heard. <laughs> at the end of the day, this is a two friend conversation. Okay, okay. <laughs> and and don't a million take, other people watching. Don't take this as a, as a professional journalism. <laughs> Do not quote me on this <laughs> because. I, 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 I'm just saying, it's just, it's just, we're just chatting. <laughs> okay. But yeah, but if you think about it, you, you get what I'm saying, right? It kind of defeats the purpose. Because what if a, a person says, okay, well, this card, it may be even from 77, but you have some card backs that are still in good condition because they were always in the condition. And space. I think you know the guy that I've heard it from. But okay. uh, 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 maybe, maybe my English is not that good. Maybe <laughs> I didn't hear it correctly. <laughs> but that's what I got from, from that. Uh, okay. Um, but yeah, I heard like there's like especially uh, he he was mentioning Star Wars, okay. so there's like certain figures or carded figures that from now on they won't they won't grade higher than I'm not sure if it was 75 or 80, so hmm. that's the, the 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 new like standard the, the yeah the highest standard that they can get to it's 80 for 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 the age that oh wow that's that's that's, that's me that's I'm yeah not. that's new to me I never heard that I mean. Yeah, I, I don't know. If that's gonna scare uh, Star Wars. I mean, that I'm might... saying, don't don't quote me on yeah. this. I'm not. I do not work. You, let me, you, disclaimer you're gonna, again. You're, disclaimer you're, again. You're, I do not work in any of these companies. You're gonna, you're gonna start a riot. You know? Nah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe, maybe, maybe they can correct me really right, right yeah, away. Yeah. Maybe they can just say, no, I just got this Star Wars figures. Got an 85. It's a lie. I, well, yeah, well, yeah, we're not. Of course, like you said, we're not professional. We're just I talking didn't. Between, I didn't know. went over there and make a journalist. Uh, well, next time you need to. I'm gonna, yeah, I, want, right, I want. I want. I want facts. I want the right <laughs> sources. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, my apologies. Then. All right. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's a lot of. That's a lot of speculation. A lot of things about grading. Mm-hmm. A lot of myths. A lot of rumors. Mm-hmm. Since very few people have worked there and I don't think there's a lot of information that leaks out of but but do you see how people regardless no matter what people are still passionate about grading I know no no oh yeah and, I, I and, totally and it could be for good or for the bad mm-hmm. people are still integrating they don't want to do that like I said now nowadays they now they sell even acrylic cases I think I think as much as some, I think as as much as people or some people will hate the grading companies because of they increase the value and I put this on quotes, you know, because it has to, has to be worth something. I think I say collectors as a action figures community, mm. it's a, it's a necessary step to grade more. And I promise nobody paid me to say this. That <laughs> I don't know anybody on these companies, but I think in order to, to grow as a community, to grow as a, like like we've seen on 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 the sports cards, on comics, on, on comic books. I think we need to grade more to to become more reliable or more like. It's like what you're talking about. You know, we're not so sporadic when it comes yeah, to like the more I, I organized. What you're talking about. As much as I, you know, maybe don't like loose graded or I don't like, you know, certain aspects of the grading. A lot of people don't ask the. Don't don't like the fact that it just increased too much. Mm-hmm. I feel like as a community, like to become more balanced or more uh, 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 recognized, I guess, mm-hmm. by another uh, factions of the collecting, we we gotta start like reading more. You know, like we we gotta preserve our figures, mm-hmm. preserve our our history. And I, I honestly, I, I at well, the end of the day, yeah, no, you no, you you're right, and so. People people say that also like when you rip when you rip even if it's a beater card mm-hmm. I know you got slack for it I haven't I actually got congratulated because you know <laughs> for some reason people don't <laughs> tend to, to like you <laughs> but um yeah I I mean that people say the same thing about uh, like if you rip a, a figure out a beater card like why would you do that you know it's been you know you're per- you messing up the preservation of it you know mm. some so but. But yeah, I, I do agree with that. I, I mean, I I love grading. I'm not gonna say I don't because that's one thing that, like I said, I always if, if 
If I could grade every piece I have, I would, but it's just I'm scared of that. The timing, oh, I, I don't know. Sometimes yes. I, I just get so impatient, especially when you have to wait a whole year. Like, man, you know, that's that's a little scary. So, but what, yeah, I mean, I, I agree with what you're saying. Like, I, I would, if I could grade anything I have that's worth grading, mm -hmm. then I would do it being that it's, well, it's going to be well preserved. You will put monitors it. Yeah. And, and so, and so some people ask, like, like you just said, you know, why would you get something graded if it's just in, you're just going to increase the value? Because you do have to invest money into getting graded too. You know, it does cost money. No, yeah. I, I am a firm believer of mm -hmm. investing in your collection not just the, the the collection itself i don't know if it makes sense or not mm -hmm. but investing in, in grading your figures invest in, in your display a lot of people don't like to like they have again nothing against them but there's mm -hmm. people that they have the space they have the shelving but they just get just the they have really really expensive figures mm -hmm. on a very very whimsy display or shelf or mm -hmm. no lights or i feel like sometimes you have to balance off a little bit like invest in your collection right? yeah so yeah i got you one of them could be grading you know a good display if your room has a lot of windows oh yeah. try to close them oh, yeah. try to seal Definitely. them you yep. know there's a lot of uv light yep. coming through yep. 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 uh if you don't have an ac mm. on your like i know it seems so dumb to say this, but at the long run, especially here in Texas, that it gets super, super hot and humid and humid. The humidity is what. So what? you have to have a, a, you know, like invest a little bit. Like my wife sometimes makes fun of, of me. Like you said, like your figures have a better AC, <laughs> like climate, climate. Control, than, yeah. yeah. Sometimes that, you know, of course, this is a smaller room that, that, you know, that, mm -hmm. that, that my house, but, but in the beginning, she kind of like, turn off the AC. I'm like, why, why do you turn it off? Like, first of all, I spent a lot of time here, but I like, just don't, don't turn it off. Just keep it yeah. on. Like, just keep it rolling. Uh, not at a super cold temperature, but just, just keep it going. I, I like to have my figures yeah. cozy. And well, no, but, but that's, that's, that's the whole purpose. I mean, because the card back, you know, the, the, that, that, that could warp. That's what makes, you know, that's what happens to it. You know, when you find figures in storage, is the, the the card back may not be bent, but it's warped. The all rings, the yeah. all from the GI Joes, yep. the, the the legs, uh, the all the, the uh, bands, the, yeah, the leg the bands, bands from on the Motu, yeah, all that, all, all that. That's I mean, what it causes. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I, I mean, I, I agree with you 100 percent when it comes to displaying. Like I said, now we all display differently. To invest on, but at the end of the day, you know, the grading grading is one of those things too. You know, I think high end collectors are pro grading mm -hmm. now you have then you have those guys that say why <laughs> would you get something graded all you're going to do is up the value on the on the figure you just want to make money off of it yeah and so eventually eventually if you are trying to sell it for the for the you know or or let's just say you're you are a seller and you're buying figures to grade to resell well most of the times people that do that know what figure to go to yeah they're not gonna write just, just about yeah, anything they're because not it's gonna it, take yeah. too long to, and, to come oh, back and the investments yeah because everything costs money i mean yeah sometimes having your money sitting on on the exactly uh, for for 10 months is not it, worth exactly. it exactly yeah. so so when it comes to grading something people know what to grade collectors are gonna know sellers are gonna resellers are gonna know what to grade they're not just gonna grade anything mm -hmm. so when people say why would you get that grade all you gonna do is raise up the value well there's a reason why there's a lot of reasons why to do it and why and you may feel you may have your reason why not to do it but there's also reason so you could respect we could respect what that person or what how the way they feel but they have to also it has to be you know two-way street they have to respect where we're coming from and mm -hmm. why we think grading should be the you know the way to go if you want if you yeah. want to say that but as much as you talk to them they never yeah and, they and, don't and, care they're and, just gonna keep like you know and that's fine because at the end of the day guess what you're still great you're still gonna great it's figures just, right yeah, it's so it's, it's, it's that's what i say if you're not gonna understand you're me, not collecting to please everybody exactly that's, well so yeah once no, you know that you know everything yeah, no, they you, say is just empty words yeah you're absolutely right all right, right. man that's a good conversation <laughs> um i hope you guys um have fun i hope you guys you know pick something up 
Do not believe everything that we said. <laughs> um, do not quote us anywhere. <laughs> no, quote you. No, quote, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it was, it was a fun conversation. I think. I think interesting, um, man. Yeah, interesting. A lot of people have have a lot of questions. We do have a lot of questions as well that that can only be answered by you know by the, the people that yeah. the people that work there. Hopefully, one day this podcast reach more Reaching. people to be able to have those those guests mm-hmm. uh, here. So. So yeah, that's, that's also the goal. So that, that's also the dream. So <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you everybody for watching and, and thank you brother for being here. No problem, brother. All right. Take care, man. You too.